Hello everyone, this is Assistant Professor Dharam Unarkat welcomes you all to this subject Effective Technical Communication. As we know, in the previous videos, we have covered the topic learning to say no and respecting privacy. Today, we are going to start a most important topic of module number 5 that is etiquettes. The topic is time management. As we know time management is the process of planning and controlling how much time to spend on the specific activities. Good time management enables you to work smarter and not harder so that you get more done in the less time, even when the time is tight and the pressure are high. Time management is usually a necessity in any project development as it determines the project completion time and scope. One of the most effective skill you can have in life is powerful and effective time management. If you are not managing your time well, there is no way you are going to reach your goal at work and the life outside of it. Sure, you might make some progress, but you will not reach to your goals in the shorter time. But your time management will be an uphill battle if you don't take your time seriously. For the people who squander and waste the precious little time they do have, they know all too well how difficult achieving even mindedly difficult goals can be. The truth is that time is the greatest equalizer in life, no matter who you are, no matter what is your age, what is your income, what is your gender, even your race and or religion. You have the same amount of time as the next person. Whether you are rich or poor, your time is same. It's not about how much time you have. It's all about how effectively you manage your time. And nowadays, the biggest problem that most entrepreneurs have is not just in how they can get enough done in such a demanding market, but also how they maintain some semblance of balance without feeling too overworked. This is not just about achieving and going after goal around the clock. This is also about the quality of the life. Keep in mind, balance is the key. If you lack balance in your life, you are going to feel stressed out. Even you are able to effectively jungle your responsibilities without a proper balance you are going to eventually reach your breaking point. So, it's important to not only follow a system that will help you to get things done, but also one where you prioritize personal and family time. Don't forget to do things like take a walk in the park or just sit and listen to your favorite music with the headphones on or paint a picture, Do go on the date night and so on. That's more important than you can think. And when you do that, you achieve some semblance of the balance. Keep in mind, life is short. So don't ignore these things while you reach for your bigger goals. So this is all about the brief about the time management and how it is important not only in the organization, but it is also important in the real life. And now, Let's have a look to an activity of the time management, which is GTD, getting things done, which is an activity of the time management. The basic idea behind this method is to finish all the smaller tasks immediately and big task is to be divided into number of smaller tasks to start completing now. The reasoning behind this is to avoid the information overload or brain freeze which is likely to occur when there are hundreds of tasks together. The trust of GTD is to encourage the user to get their tasks and ideas out and on paper and organized as quickly as possible. So they are easy to manage and see. So this is an activity called GTD getting things done of a time management which is helpful to get the smaller task first and then you take the bigger task, divide it into the number of smaller tasks and start completing it. This will help you to manage your time effectively. 
and now if you feel stress in your life in your organization and you want to manage your time you have to follow this matrix which is known as time management matrix nowadays the people not only in the organization but also in the real life follow this matrix prepare this matrix list the activities which with their priorities and follow it so let's understand this time management matrix which contains the four quadrant as we have we can see the first quadrant includes the activity which are important and urgent second quadrant includes the activity which are important and not urgent third quadrant includes the activity which are not important but urgent and the last and the fourth quadrant is the activity which are not important as well as not urgent let's understand the one by one quadrant in dt the first quadrant is for the activity that are urgent and important this quadrant is the place where mostly the people who are the busiest all the time this is the quadrant of fire fighting you if your first quadrant is full that means you are always chasing a deadline or because you did not accomplish a task that was prepared to be done before you have the address it urgently being in this quadrant leads to stress compromise in quality and sometimes even a give up attitude so make the task of this quadrant minimum you must be proactive do things way ahead of time so in this if you have to be in this quadrant you have to be proactive and you have to do your things ahead of the time otherwise you feel stress all over the day plan your day with activities that are important for your goals and stick to it to be in the this quadrant you have to be as we have discussed you have to be proactive as well as you have to prioritize your work you have to do your work first which comes in your priority first and then you have to do in the decreasing order so the first quadrant is for the fire fighters now discussing about the second quadrant which has important but not urgent activities these are the activities that you do way ahead of time a student revising what has been taught at this school, daily school is an example of the quadrant number 2 this activity of second quadrant which are which needs regular maintenance activity for example uh, maintenance of your device or your tool and the equipment is also an activity of second quadrant people who plan their day and stick to their schedule always stay in the second quadrant they help to hardly do the activity of first quadrant when it is really a genuine urgent matter like someone's accident so a normal people are stay in the second quadrant going to the third quadrant and which includes the activity that are urgent but not important here actual the urgency of the matter is not crucial but perceived This quadrant has all the disasters for for example phone calls messages notification or an intruder these are the activity of others people priority they are not at all important as far as your goal is concerned for example you have to complete an important presentation which you have to supposed to present after few days and you decide to complete it today so that you can get it revised from your boss and make changes if required to make it more effective but while you started doing it one of your colleague comes and ask you to accompany her to the cafe to have a cup of tea because she is having a headache though your work was important you felt going with her is urgent and you went you ended up with unfinished task at the end of the day here we must stick to the mantra of first things first and learn to say no to the other person here in the third quadrant the topic which we have discussed in the previous video that is learning to say no even in the organization or in the real life is useful in the quadrant number 3 to 
avoid this activity we must learn the art of saying no which we will discuss in detail in the last video and now the last quadrant the fourth is that of not urgent and not important activity they are clearly time wasters as seen before the people of first quadrant do into the fourth quadrant activity when they want to escape the stress of firefighting so the people as we have discussed the people in the quadrant number 1 are firefighters they feel stress all over the day so to be free from this stressful life or you may say stressful day they follow the activity of quadrant number 4 also people who don't have clear goals and plans and who are not motivated to work towards their goals usually stay in this quadrant that is the fourth quadrant the people which do not have goals which do not have plans are fall under this quadrant that is fourth quadrant so from this four quadrants one must always remain in the second quadrant so that there is no crisis and hence no stress so here we have discussed the time management matrix so after discussing you also get to realize that this is not required in the organization but also we have to follow in the day to day life which includes the activities and we, we divided it into the four quadrants take a page divide your page into four quadrants the first quadrant contains the activity which are urgent and important write your activity in the first quadrant which are important and urgent write your activities in the second quadrant which are important and not urgent write your activities in the third quadrant which are not important but urgent and in the fourth quadrant the activities which are not important as well as not urgent which are fully time wasters also divide your activities according to your priority write your activity according to your priority so that you take your work in the priority orders so this is the important topic as we have first said the time management in which we have discussed a definition the gtd getting things done is the activity in which you will do your smaller task first and then you take the bigger task divide it into the number of smaller tasks and then you completing it and the last we have discussed is the time management matrix more topic of module 5 will be further discussed in the upcoming videos thank you